You know, when you love something, it doesn't feel like work. It's just magnetic. You're hunting for that moment when creativity clicks and you can just dig in. Okay, I am set and good to go. Dropping in three, two, one. I'm really hard on myself when I shoot. I, I don't like to compromise. When I heard the specs of the R5C, I was psyched, but still expecting some limitations. I wanted to stress test it through a variety of builds and situations. It was pretty quickly apparent that this thing is built to perform without compromise. It's got 45 megapixel still photos at 20 frames per second, 8K internal raw video at up to 60 frames per second with zero overheating whatsoever. What I love about this camera is that I can shoot it stripped down and go really light, which is great for things like paragliding. Or I can build it up with a fizz, a monitor, cine glass, and take full advantage of raw AK. It's a one-stop system that really straddles the line like nothing else that I've ever worked with. I've been waiting for this one since the beginning. I have full access to not just the RF lenses, but the entire EF lens line, which includes the cinema lenses. It's just versatile in every possible way. I love filming more compressed, so right now I got a 200 on, and pulling focus at 200 with a high-speed moving object like a mountain bike is pretty tough. But one of the great things about the R5C is it has dual pixel CMOS autofocus. So I can pretty much lock onto the subject and just track them all the way from ground into the air to landing. And it's really saving me from difficult focus pulling. It's just like win, win, win. It also has time code, waveform, and pretty much all the bells and whistles you'll find in the cinema camera menus. So the sun's about to set right now. I want to get that classic ball of fire in the sky setting right over the ocean. So not only do you have intervalometer for photography, you can also do it in cine mode. Either way, I'm getting raw, which is great because in post, it's going to give me a lot more latitude and flexibility. So one of the things I want to do with the R5C was to put it on an FPV drone. So we brought my friend Will out here and we're going to just send this thing up and try some dynamic shots at 8K 60p. Yeah, see what we get. The R5C just doesn't overheat. And so with the FPV drone, we just hit record, it takes off, and we just hold the roll the entire time. With this new Canon shooting at 8K 60 raw, I can do all these shots, but also then we can punch in, get closer, still shoot in RAW and slow-mo. I don't know of another camera that you could fit on a drone like this that could do that. You know, it's a one-stop package in the specs. They, they pretty much say it all. Shooting paragliding from the air is, is really three-dimensional. It's, it's similar to shooting underwater. I've taken the R5C and I've just stripped it down to virtually, you know, standard mirrorless size. It's a real dream come true having this, this tiny little kit that's gonna allow me to work really flexibly and get everything I need. There's a ton of moving parts. I mean, just to simply take off. Once you're up, you're pretty much at the mercy of the winds and thermals. Not to mention coordinating with your tandem pilot, and you're also trying to communicate with the paraglider you're shooting with air to air. It's not a place you wanna have a heavy camera set up. So I've got this wall of strobes right here, and you can see Cedar's about to just pass right by us, just whipping right by us in really, really great proximity. The hope is I'm gonna position myself over here and hit him with the wall of light right as he comes by. Whoa. Good, yeah, yeah, having fun. And when it comes to quality, I want the highest megapixels I can get my hands on, and I want the, the best video file, and this, this is a true hybrid camera that's giving me both. Two of these are going to live in my bag <laughs> once I can get my hands on one permanently. How do we get him on the short list to get one of these? Because he is psyched. <laughs> I'll do it. He's literally asked me like 10 times. He's like, get me on the short list. When this comes out, I want one of the first ones. <laughs> I'm psyched. These are great. The cameras are about freezing moments in time and sharing them. Oh, that's insane. 
Oh, then how beautiful Dude, is that background right now? Right? Which is one of the reasons I was attracted to them in the beginning. And it's why I always want the best camera I can get my hands on. I want these images to live on.